Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today we have a follow-up service call for an LG Multi-D system. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Today we have a follow-up service call. If you guys remember in my previous video when I had the LG MV tool connected to this system, we noticed that we had an off reading on one of the thermistors, and it was specifically the air thermistor in one of the rooms. And in that video, we were tracking down which indoor unit had that faulty reading. So we have one outdoor unit here, and there's multiple indoor air handlers. So there's, in, there's multiple indoor units connected. In the last video, we tracked down which room it is, and today is the follow-up. We're gonna start by connecting our mobile LG MV tool. Last time we worked on this, we actually changed the compressor on it. So we are back, and I had to change that thermistor for that room after we tracked it down, but somebody was in the room, this is a hotel, and unfortunately, they had to cut the ceiling down. So right now, they actually cut the ceiling down. I just changed both fan motors. So this is a good time to get that going. I was like, hey man, that's the room. Might as well handle it while we have things open. So I'm gonna connect this right here. And it doesn't wanna connect, why is that? There we go. And we're gonna connect to our main board. Thank God I don't see any error codes in here. Sheesh. It's gonna be uh, CN2 uh, underscore WH and it says LG MV. I'll give you a little close up so you guys can see. And I'm gonna hook that up. We're gonna get a light on here and then we're gonna connect our app. The app we're using for this is called LG MV Business. So let's go ahead and connect it. Monitoring data. Wi-Fi scan in progress. Right there, let's connect right there. It says connecting to device. Got a little blinking green light there. We see the green here, all right, so we know we connected. Just gonna do that. And let's see what comes up. We still have that same info. Let's give it a chance. Then I'm gonna go to indoor IDU info, indoor unit info. Okay. All right, so most of these rooms are about 68 degrees. That's where it's at, at least the ones that are cooling. It says this one right here, the air temperature, it says it's 88.84 degrees, so 89 degrees. I'm gonna screenshot that, definitely wrong. And yeah, okay, went down to 86 just now. Last time, let me see if I can find a screenshot, but this thing was like at 100 degrees and there's just no way that room was 100 degrees. So let's go ahead, let's get down there and change that sensor. So our thermistors, there's three of them in the unit. We have the air, we got pipe in and pipe out. Pipe in is 48 degrees, pipe out is 60. But the air at this moment is saying it's at 87.49. Pretty strange, don't you think? So obviously it's gonna range. I think it's all whacked out based uh the resistance on the sensor changes based on temperature. And I think it's bugging out. I just saw it at 88. All right, let's get in there. All right, let's cut this ceiling open. Still don't have proper access. Okay, so I just cleaned everything in here, changed this motor and the motor back there. It was it was hell to get in there. So, just so you guys know, it's just this one color here. I brought it down as much as I could. That's about it. But the air sensor is right here in the blower section and it's gonna be right here, this thermistor right here. There is a screw here, but I had to take it out to mount that motor. But anyways, right now, we just gotta get to this guy right here. 
here we go we have an original part and this is the air sensor this reads the room temperature so it's pulling in the return air and that's going to give you the most accurate reading it's definitely pretty chilly in here to be honest with you so what we're going to do is go ahead and kill the power for the unit after we turn off the thermostat which i just did before i kill the power i have the thermostat turned off right now let me just get this started you guys can see my hands are just buried in here but i'm just gonna pull this out of this it's hard to see it's hard to do as well so i'm just gonna pull this out I'm do this with one hand let me set the camera up so you guys can see i'm just gonna pull this thing so you see it's out of that little little loop and we could just pull it out right there and then we could pull it out from the control panel here we are on the other side of the world okay kill the power all right make sure everything de-energizes give it a chance it's going to come from this corner right here going on in here. I'm just going to pull out the wire, well the thermistor, which is this. And now we're going to trace it into the board. It's going to come into here. It's going to be the yellow connector right here. I'm going to find a diagram so you guys can see. It's a little clip. Lip, man, everything's in my way. Jeez. Press the clip and pull it out. And that thing is out of there. Here's the new sensor. We're gonna push it through that hole right there where there's like a rubber grommet. We're gonna snake that through. And then we're gonna neatly hold the camera with one hand. Let's get back inside here. I'll take some pictures so you guys can kind of see where this goes. It's really tight. I'm gonna push it in. It's in this, this little yellow connector right there. Okay, so we're back on this side. This is it right here. We're gonna fit it back onto this clip. It stays like this. We're gonna run it through this hole, push pull it out, and then tuck it into here. And I'll show you guys how that's done. It's really hard to get a camera on here. It's hard to get my head up here, but I'll show you the, the after result. Basically, just put it back the way you found it. All right. And it's in. As you guys can see, man, I can't even get the camera in here. But basically, tucked it into the back. We'll tuck it in here so it's uh, tight. And I'm just going to sit in here and uh, read the room temperature. Let's go ahead, zip this up, put the filter back in, and check back on the roof. All right, guys, we're back on the roof. And if we look at IDU2, I'm gonna take a screenshot. It's at 68 degrees now for the air temperature. Whoops, it turned off. <laughs> Let me screenshot that. Sixty-eight degrees and it's matching up with pretty much most of the rooms. It just started raining here, of course. Ah, my stuff is soaked already. I left this for like five minutes, man. Ah! Anyways, guys, that was it. That's how you change the air thermistor and how you check it also as well. That tool is super helpful. It's Friday night, 4 p.m. Sun's gonna be coming down probably soon. 
and we just got an emergency service call that we got a boiler leak in our infamous nightmare boiler room so we out to the next building let's get it it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week and i'll catch you all next time